it's Alex. I'm here today randomly in my dining room. <laughs> I've come in here because I've got this big table to use and my desk is absolutely round full of crap. <laughs> and I've got three, no four parcels to open. Now I've been busy, busy, busy with work all year. And I haven't had much time to do any work on the cars or filming or anything like that. But I have had time to sit scrolling and ordering car parts. And I've had four different parcels come and I haven't opened any of them yet. So I've, ac I've actually forgotten what's in two of them. One's a large box that's behind you, you can't see it. I've got one from Australia. I've got one here which I know I know what's in there and this one I'm pretty sure I know what's in there but I haven't opened it yet. So I just thought you'd like to to see what I've bought really and the good thing is is that if you see what I've bought you'll know what my future videos are going to be because I'll be fitting the parts. Now this isn't a part. <coughs> oh sorry I've got wind. I've got wind and I've got tea. And as well as that, I've got wings as well. <laughs> All my P6 wings are in the dining room, so I'm, I'm amongst my wings. Right, let's see what's in this one. Let's see, invoice. Ta-da! I knew it was the book. I pre-ordered this. It's the new James Taylor book on the Rover P4. So it'll be interesting to read about that. It's got all the sort of um, pre-production prototypes and things in there. All sorts. Yeah. <laughs> things in there about the jet engine vehicle. I've got the uh, James Taylor P6 book as well somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that one. Put that on the floor for now. Now this box here, I say I know what it is, but I haven't seen them. Them. I haven't seen them. I know what's in here. Well, at least I hope I do. It could be something completely different, and I haven't actually received what I needed. But, uh, yeah. This was a bit of a private sale, it wasn't through a, a part supply, it was on Facebook. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Ooh, they're well packaged. Here they come. No? <laughs> no, I'm going to have to cut it. I've got the most pathetic pair of scissors here as well. To do this as a live video so you could all comment but well you can still you can still leave a comment by the way i will reply if i can but I, I decided not to do a live video because i get so distracted by reading the comments i don't actually do what i'm doing <laughs> so i'd never get these parcels unwrapped and i'd just be here for hours Urgh! Urgh! Absorbers. Rover recommended for the P4. I think they're um, Arm Armstrong shocks. Oh. Let's have a look at them. Pretty sure I asked for Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you 
Have you ever tried to pull apart a structure tool bone? <laughs> Maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> but yes, yeah, lovely new old stock shock absorbers for the rear of my P4. Because I did all the front end of the P4 last year. And this year I really want to give the uh, the back end some attention. And the shock absorbers on the back look old. <laughs> Let's just say they look old. So I thought she deserved these and I thought it was quite a good price for those. Shocking. Now, this parcel is all the way from Australia. Australia. So, because it's from Australia, I suppose, really, I should open it upside down. Because that way it's the right way up. Is that right? <laughs> I'll open it the right way. <laughs> If I can. You should never cut towards yourself, should you? I'm, I'm lethal with scissors. I shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> Ooh, sticky fingers. <laughs> I think <laughs> I can't remember. So I ordered this because it's from Australia quite a while ago. Um, actually, it came quite quick, but it's been sat in in my other room for quite a while. Um, so I completely forgot what I ordered. Now in here, there's lots of little bits. Interesting. So I've got two. Door lock, I think, gaskets for, I don't know, might be the P6, it might be the P4. These are for the P4, I think. Oh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> their door, their door head. <laughs> this is why it's fun, because I can't remember what I ordered. Uh, oh, P6, there we are. I've ordered P6 door handle rubbers. Now, if you look at them, the last time I ordered P6 door handle seals, they were made of rubbish. They were like foam or something, and they were awful. These look fantastic. They're actually sort of shaped, so the handle actually hold fire. I'll be back in a second. Here you are. Look at this. P6 uh, door handle. Everyone should have one of those in their living room. <laughs> Excuse me while I get comfy. If you can see, this fits there. Uh, so when it's on the door, it's perfectly sealed around the handle. See the holes line up. And that's really good quality rubber because it's from Australia. That's why anything rubber, if I can, I'll order it from Australia. 
So they're P6 door handle rubbers. Ah, these will be P4. Because they're bigger, of course. Um, have I got a P4 door handle? Ah, uh, I did have. I'm just going to go and have a look. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> no, no Rover P4 door handles in the house anymore. They must be in the garage. Right, there's the P4. Has it got the push button in there? Those P6 ones, obviously for Series 1 P6, by the way, but he does Series 2 P6. So there's the rubber seals for the P4. Very good quality. And again, it's got that lip, so the handle will sit in there nice. Um, yeah, so these door lock ones, they must be P6 because the P4 door locks are in the handle. Um, yeah. The only thing is, I've been a bit of a knob. I forgot to order. I should have four of these for the push button um, things on the P6. So I, that's a shame, but never mind. Next time I order something from Australia, I'll, I'll make sure I get those. So we still don't know what this long piece of rubber is. Oh well, I have an invoice. Let's have a look. I'm peeking to. You're not allowed to see my address. Oh, sorry, it hasn't put the address on here. Uh, what have I ordered? Uh, 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 P4 door handle gaskets. Yeah, they were thirty-four pounds and twenty-six pence. Seems a lot of money for a couple of bits of rubber, but they are exceptionally good quality. Very good quality rubber. The shape of them is fantastic. It's not just a flat piece of rubber. It's it's shaped properly for the handle um, with the four little ones as well. So I think it's worth it. We've got door handle gaskets for the P6, which is £15.86, which is fine. Door lock gasket round, £2.34. I should have got some for the push button. Silly me. And then... Mm. What? <laughs> I still don't know what this is. It says, oh, oh, I know what this is. I know what it is. Of course, it makes sense. This, you have to cut to size. You cut it yourself and it's to go on the P6 door. I haven't got a P6 door here at the moment. Where the chrome window part goes into the door, on the end of that bit where the chrome goes into the door, there's meant to be a little rubber seal. And um, they're obsolete now. You can't buy them. They're shaped. But if you can keep the old ones with the little bit of metal, the little shape, you can you can mould this to the pieces of metal and fit it to the door. And that's what this is. There we are. We got to the bottom of it. And in here is a big fat present which cost how much did it cost? <clears throat> I might sit down. I paid £192 for this. I paid £192 for rubber. <laughs> These, oh yeah, they feel good. This is a Rover P6 door seals, door seal rubbers. Now, you have to cut them to size, you have to cut them to shape, to fit and everything. They're not just um, 
you know, um, side, they're not sided or anything. You just get a reel of this rubber and you have to cut it yourself, but that's fine. I've replaced the door seals on Mr. Jenkins before with some other aftermarket rubbers from somewhere and they were really hard. So when I came to shut the door, I had to really slam the door. They wouldn't shut properly, but these feel like good quality. And as I said, anything rubber like this, if you can, if you're happy to pay the postage, which wasn't that much, was it? £65 for the postage, um, which was for, you know, all of it from Australia and you get really decent quality rubber from him. I say he does all sorts for rovers, all sorts of, for different cars, but oh, yeah, here we go. What's this? door seals. It's got even, it even has information on how to fit them. Apply lubricant to the door seal, soapy water, locate the seal into the door seal channel, secure it with the metal strip and screws, fit the remainder of the seal using the rover tool. Now the rover tool is basically a pizza cutter that's blunt. That's what it is, a blunt pizza cutter. <laughs> or you can just use a screwdriver, that's what I use normally, it takes ages. But uh, da, 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 da. refit the sill plate, refit the door chip strap, cut the corner at a 45 degree angle, and glue it together for the best result. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> Honestly, can't remember what's in here. <laughs> it involves rovers. It's definitely rover parts. But what rover parts I ordered, I don't know. I know, I know. Don't cut towards yourself. I don't know how to get into this box. <laughs> I can't see the join in it. Is it here? Alex's assets can't open a box. I'm probably ruining whatever's inside the box. <laughs> oh, I've just stuck the scissors in. Come on, let me in. Hard to get in a box. Oh, oh, I felt an entrance. <gasps> There's an entrance. Oh, I see. There isn't. There isn't. Um. There isn't an. You know, it doesn't open. Doesn't open normally. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Here we are. Ah, stab the table. Ruin the wood. Bye everyone. Oh no, how am I going to get it? Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> oh dear. I can't open the box. Oh well. I tried, I tried. I'm just going to get violent with it now. Look. Here we go. We're winning. We're winning. <laughs> Famous last word. Mm, I'm so gonna cut my finger off, aren't I? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Here we are. Ooh. This is proper Christmassy. This is. The tea's gone cold. Oh, look, some bedding for a mouse. That's nice, isn't it? It's just what I wanted. 
Um, you could have picked a smaller box. I'm going to have to hoover now. There's more of it. Oh my God, what have I bought? On the um, <laughs> on Scots Australian Scots um, website, I couldn't see that he sold the doorstep rubber seals for the P6. He had the the main door seal listed, but I couldn't see the um, the little seals that sit under the chrome step plate. So. I bought these off of um, Waddams. So this box is from Waddams. And um, yeah, interesting seal because it's it's like the door seal, but then it's got an extra bit there for the step to sit in. Um, they seem good quality. The rubber feels okay, but you can feel the difference does feel different to the rubber from Scott. Hmm, not bad though. So we've got the two rear doors for the Mr. Jenkins and the two front doors for Mr. Jenkins. They can live in the house as well. Um, looks like we've got two bags of cocaine. Um, we've got more bedding for the mouse. More bedding for the mouse. Oh my god, there's more bedding in there. There we go. Right, let's, there's more in there. Let's have a look at this cocaine. What have we got? What have I bought? I don't even know. Oh, I, I think I do know what this is. Hmm, this is going to be an interesting job, she says. So, what have I got here? What's in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got a problem on Jessie at the moment. It's only very minor, but if I do more than 65 and 70, if I do sort of more than 65, I just get a, a vibration. And it goes through the whole car. I can feel it on the steering wheel. I can feel it in my bum. It just feels like there's a... Slight imbalance. Now I was hoping it was going to be a wheel. So I've had the wheels balanced twice. Now the reason I had them done twice is because I didn't want weights on the face of the wheel. I just wanted them on the back. So I had them balanced with the weights just on the back. And she still wobbled. So the tyre place said really, you know, you need some weights on the fronts. Uh, according to their machine. So... That's my washing machine. So I let them knock on some weights onto the outsides of the wheels, much to my dismay. Uh, and she still wobbles. Not as bad, but she still wobbles. And I'm convinced that it's to do with the prop shaft because she didn't wobble before Graham did my diff oil seal for me. Now I'm not blaming Graham, but the disturbance of that prop shaft seems to have made Jessie upset. So because they weren't that expensive, I bought two new UJs for the prop shaft, and then I bought a centre bearing. Apparently, the prop shaft has a centre bearing. I haven't seen it personally; it's a new thing to me. But there's a centre bearing. There's some bushes and a big spring. So I just bought everything. I've got these O-rings here. Oh, they're they're. <laughs> Therefore, the spark plug caps, the plastic Bakelite or whatever they are, um, spark plug caps, they have an O-ring seal to keep any water out. And that looks suspiciously like a door lock gasket. Mm, I don't remember. Okay, well, there we are. <laughs> That's those. Can you tell I'm exceptionally poor now? 
We have got a oil filter for Mr. Jenkins. Hopefully, inside there's a non return valve because the P6 oil filter is mounted that way up on the 2000. So, if you haven't got the non return valve in the filter, overnight, or you know, when you turn the car off, all the oil drains out of the filter and goes back down to the sump with the with the non return valve with the, with the non return valve in here when you go to start the engine the oil in the filter is quicker to getting to the oil fed chain tensioners so if you find that you get a rattly chain on startup on a four pot rover four cylinder rover it might be because you've got the wrong oil filter. It might be that when you're cranking the engine, the oil is still trying to fill up this filter and it hasn't got to the uh, chain tension as, as quickly as it should. So, have a look in there. I can't see, I'm gonna have to get a torch. It should be a return valve in there. Hmm. Not sure. I have to get a torch. I'm not I'm not convinced that's got the uh, non-return valve. Hmm. It's from a Rover supplier, so you'd like to think so. What else we got? Oh yes, I splashed the cash and I bought myself a new bottle of uh, SU dash pot oil. It's only 2050, is it not 20? No, it's not 2050, it's neat 20, 20W or something. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't say. But, um, yeah, it was it was this or buy a whole five litre thing of it and I was like, uh, I'll just buy the little bottle. What else have we got in here? P4 oil filter. Yep, that's a Rover P4 oil filter. Don't know why I ordered that. Well, actually, I do because at the time I didn't have one, but I've just bought two new old stock ones off of uh, eBay. Oh, yes, I splashed the cash again. I was going to buy these from um, Scott. In Australia but they were really expensive they were probably really good as well but oh I opted to go for the cheap ones from Wadhams so I've got side light gaskets that's side light to wing in there <laughs> and then this is lens light lens to light unit and uh, we've got one for the rear number plate light as well and then we've got the rear lights. Yeah. So I know I know the foam stuff's a bit rubbish and the lenses are always going wet. But I had to buy them to go with the new wings. And I, I really know I just was too tight to buy the ones from Scott. Probably regret it at a later date. We've got Rover. Oh, I bent that one. That's okay. It survived. Uh, P4 manifold gaskets there because I noticed Jesse's looked a little bit ropey around the edges. And then uh, air filter for Mr. Jenkins. So there we are. That's my excitement. So there's going to be. Um, probably a couple of videos of me servicing my cars and talking about how easy or how hard they are to service and maintain. There'll be a video probably of me swearing a lot at a prop shaft on the P4. And then I'm sure there'll be videos of these poxy wings behind me. So these are all my wings together. 
these little pinprick holes these all need a little bit of welding I've had all the light unit sections all blasted clean uh, inside the wing and outside as you can see that's all been blasted in there so they just need to be sanded down a bit of welding maybe a bit of filler and then they can go purple Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.